Hello there, my name's Christy and this is my colleague Avi and today we are at the Reynolds Retreat in the glorious Kent countryside to taste some whiskey. Yeah, absolutely. So today we're going to be tasting uh, Nika from the Barrel, which is an absolutely amazing Japanese blended whiskey. You know, it's won multiple awards. Um, so I'm really excited about this one today. Yeah, it's one of our bestsellers. It's super popular. People love it and with really good reason. It's absolutely delicious. Yeah, so uh, Nika from the Barrel, it's made up from multiple different blends. Um, so there's the Yoichi distillery whiskey in there. There's Miyagi Kyo as well, as well as a bunch of others as well. Yeah, there's all, there's all kinds of stuff going on in there. Um, and it's a really interesting kind of product of Japanese whiskey as a category. Um, in the recent past, there have been loads of supply shortages. That's why kind of you don't see so many age statement Japanese whiskies so many anymore. And they're often super expensive if you do get them. Um, but yeah, but we do still get awesome expressions and this is one of them. This is a distillery that was founded by Masataku Tekutsura um, back in 1934. Um, prior to that though, he actually went all the way to Scotland, which is a huge journey in itself, even now. Um, so imagine doing it back then in 1918. Yeah, so he's kind of studied as a chemist, went to Glasgow University, and then just basically fell in love with Scotch whisky and distilling, which I completely relate to. Yeah. Um, and he really learned the craft, learned the trade, um, took all that knowledge with him when he went back to Japan and then set up some distilleries. Yeah, so really cool fact as well. So the uh, Tekutsuru family actually were sake brewers. Um, so they kind of had that kind of uh, knowledge anyway, but taking distillation over there was really something that kicked it up a notch. Yeah, he's kind of generally regarded as the father of Japanese whiskey, and I think we've got a lot to thank him for. Absolutely. So, shall we jump straight in with yep. the tasting? Absolutely. Enough chat. Let's get yeah, some whiskey. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah, it's not the easiest bottle to pour from. Um, almost guaranteed to make a mess if you give it a go, but there we are. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so actually worth pointing out as well, so this is quite high strength whiskey. Mm. This is 51.4% ABV. You know, this would be really good with some ice as well, actually, I think. Yeah, definitely. And again, I think we've chatted about this in previous videos. Never be afraid to add water to your whiskey, especially a whiskey at this ABV. Add a few drops and it will completely transform in the glass and you'll get so much more out of your dram. Right, straight into the nose. Yeah. Oh, I love the warm spices. There's a oh lot God. of lovely warming sweet spices going That's on there. That's beautiful. Maybe a bit of vanilla pods. Mm. There's definitely some floral notes as well. Yeah, absolutely. And this is, well, it's delicious for a number of reasons, but there are all kinds of cask types yeah. going in here, right? Yeah, so there's um, bourbon barrels, there's sherry butts, there's refill hogsheads, yep. um, a bunch of others as well. So yeah, see if you can pick any of those out. Yeah, I really feel that complexity comes through. So maybe like fig notes, like yep. you get in some like sherry finished whiskeys, yeah, that's, that's in there. Um, yeah, really delicious and warming. Mm. Time yeah. for a taste. Let's do it. Mm. So obviously 51.4%, there's quite a high alcohol burn, but it's much, much smoother than you'd expect actually. Yeah, for sure. And actually I think the thing that jumps out to me first of all is like, yeah, that texture. It's, mm. There's a bit of peppery spice as you'd expect yep. and maybe a little bit um, kind of like a slightly woody texture, but it really is all wrapped up in this lovely silky mouth filling yeah, warmth. Yeah. It's incredible. Yeah, there's even kind of, I'm getting notes of like, um, dark cherries yep. kind of from those bourbon barrels I think definitely maybe a bit of chocolate going on in here as well yeah like some bitter chocolate mm -hmm. it's really lovely um, yeah and on the finish it just goes on and on and on which I very much oh. appreciate yeah this is absolutely amazing stuff mm. it's awesome as bang for buck goes it's incredible it's like yeah. 36.99 at the moment I think yeah right? so which is incredible uh, value for yep. a whiskey of this kind of this kind of level yeah it's kind of university loves so if you haven't tried it yet Yep, get one yeah. and let us know what you think of it in the comments. Amazing, yeah. Um, so, cheers. Cheers.